Clay, what do you got there? Uh, we went out and did a little bit of harvest before the rain. We got quite a few tomatoes. Some of them need to ripen about a day and then they'll be ready to eat. We did get some get some nice ones. Mm -hmm. Some. This is how big some of them baby bells got. Normally your baby bells are about that size. Well, we did get a bunch of them. They're delicious too. And the Fulgia jalapenos really look nice. They're just starting to turn red, some of them. We wanted to get them before it started raining this morning. But we got a lot of the a lot of the tomatoes and peppers out of the garden. Ugh, there's a baby bell there, orange. I'm just gonna eat this one. Hey. <laughs> Doesn't that look good? What you do is you take these seeds and you take them right off the stem here. Pull them apart and put them on a put them on a paper plate. And put them up on a, a shelf for about a week so that the seeds dry out. Put them in a paper envelope. Mark them whatever seeds you're saving. In this case, it's baby bells, and you can save them for next season. And now, where did you get your original baby bells from? Grocery store. Everybody said, oh, you can't do it that way. This is proof you can. It's like, who told you that, right? The internet told me you can't do it. <laughs> You've been busy today, huh? I really enjoy my peppers. Now this is a fooled you jalapeno. It's not hot at all. Excuse me, I got You need a drink? No, a I find a seed went down my throat. Um these are the fooled you jalapenos. They're called fooled you because there's no heat. And they will turn nice and red just like that, all the way down. These are great for jalapeno poppers. You like the taste of jalapenos? These are some good peppers to have. And you do the same thing with these. You save the seeds, which I'm going to have plenty of them. So. Seeds keep sticking to my fingers. But they, they open up nice. You can see they got a nice seed cell. Normally, if these are regular jalapenos, they'd be burning the hell out of your hands. We gotta save some of these too for Rusty. Because Rusty wanted you to make some for him. You think? If Clay and I don't get to him for <laughs> Very good. It's really jalapeno flavored. But like I said, there's no heat. This is a real jalapeno. I'd be going. Now, what you do with them is you cut them lengthwise in half. Take a brick of cream cheese. Mince up some onion and garlic. Mix it in the cream cheese. So it's blended in really well. Then you take and you scrape the cream cheese into the half of the pepper. And you put that whole thing on a cookie sheet and put it in your freezer. Then when the cream cheese is firmed back up, you take them out of the freezer, then you bread them with uh, breadcrumbs and your, just like you would a piece of chicken. Then you put them back on the cookie sheet, put them back in the freezer, 
until the breading is all cold. Then you put them in a Ziploc bag and put them in your freezer. It's uh, like a two or three steps, but once you've got them made up, you can put them in the, a fry daddy, a deep fryer, an air fryer, the oven, and you'll have some good... If you don't want to use the cream cheese, you can use uh, regular cheddar cheese. These are nice and crisp. And I will be making up some of these for the freezer. Because we like having them in the winter. And I might even do that with some of the baby bells too. If I don't eat the baby bells in the meantime. There's still a lot out in the garden. We only picked the ones that were starting to starting to ripen, let the other ones get a chance to ripen up. Then we gotta take the celery out of the garden. Chop that all of them during dehydration. But otherwise, the season's almost over and the plants out there are all starting to die off a little bit. So we want to get the vegetables out of there before they all start falling off the plants and dying off. But we're going to utilize our garden to the best of its abilities. And I think we have so far. We've been eating tomatoes left and right because we've been picking tomatoes for about three weeks now or better. I've been living off tomato sandwiches and toasted tomato sandwiches and ham and cheese and tomato sandwiches and tomato and onion sandwiches. And so I, by the end of the season, you're tired of tomatoes, but I don't know. I never could be tired of tomatoes. A lot of times I'll take... We'll take the tomatoes and just take the core out of them, leave skin right on them, put them in a Ziploc bag, put them right directly into the freezer. Now after they're frozen, say in mid-January we want to make some tomato sauce or chili, you take them out of the freezer, you let them thaw out, and you can peel these things with your fingers. Not like have to scald them and everything. If you have to scald the tomatoes to get the peels off, that that's a lot of work. And we even have a squeezo, which is a uh, like a colander thing. You put the tomatoes in, and it squeezes all the juice out of them and separates the seed and the skin. That gets pushed out the other end. That's a lot of work too. But you do it this way: you just cut the core out of it, stick the whole bunch of tomatoes in a baggie. Zip it sealed and put it right in the freezer. Zip it and forget it. And if you get one tomato or two that's got these cracks in it, take your core out of it and just, you know, cut on each side of the crack and you can still freeze that. Is that from the cracking? From the cracking. That's from the sun, right? Yeah, that's just a sun crack. Or too much water. Or there's a lot of different reasons they crack. There's another cricket. Yes, there's been a ton of crickets around here lately. I mean, I saw one in the house. I saw them out here. We've got one in the house. Won't leave us alone. He keeps. We also have a baby one that keeps hanging around our sink. It keeps squeezing. I I try, thought I had him licked, and I just said, "Hey, let him live. He'll be my pet keeps cricket." Keeps making noise. Nice if the ca if Charlene sees them, she'll she'll get them. Uh, they'll, keep, they'll keep you up all night there in the house. Well, dear, I'll let you make your phone call to your sister, and I'll put the tomatoes in in the house. And I'll come and have a tomato sandwich after I talk to my sister. Yeah. Do you want me to make you one too, then? Yeah, it doesn't need onion or anything. Just this tomato and you could toast the bread <laughs> lightly toast it. lightly I don't like dark toast okay I'll lightly toast it for you not where it looks like bread and toasted I, I mean just light light brown just a little crispy no not crispy I know you're crispy black around the edges <laughs> black on one side 
<laughs> yeah, but I've come a long uh, that's way. That's why I say lightly toast. I've come a long way. Tomato and mayo. Make sure the tomato is about a good quarter to a half inch thick. Don't Can it thin slivers it. Are you being a little picky? Very picky. <laughs> I don't like it where you've got a sliver of tomato and you can't even taste the tomato while you taste this toast and mayo. I like my paper thin. He likes his. I like a thick piece of tomato. So we'll cut it nice for you. I like to cook my food with love. Looks like it wants rain, but I don't think it's going to get No, I hot. thought, yeah, it keeps looking like it and then it doesn't. It's going over. It's Sprinkled a little bit when we were in the garden. But not much. Not enough. Sun's coming out now. It might be a pretty day, but it's going to be cooler. Thank the, thank the Lord, right? <laughs> All right. I just got to go in. I better little... call my sister back. I told her I was going to call her. So I better give her a ring. Ring a ding ding. I'll watch the news while you're uh, chatting. Chatting and making my lunch. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, guys, remember. Big or small, you too could be a backyard farm. God bless. And enjoy your tomatoes. Oh, yes. And, but, okay, Clay, you gotta fix that, that, uh, clock, too. I, I thought I need a new battery. Yeah, it says it's 2 o'clock, and it's probably, what, like 9, Second 10? still going. Yeah, but it says it's 2 o'clock. I know it says 2 o'clock, so it must be, the battery's probably dying out on it. So, we gotta fix the clock. <coughs> okay guys we'll see you in the next video remember we you gotta say it again that. you gotta say it again though join us again <laughs> and god bless <laughs> bye bye guys